but usually at this stage I, w I fold this so it looks flat and then I cut it so I can cut this in four pieces and just like this you let it cool down not touching each other because the minute you put this together it just sticks to each other and then you vacuum it or I'm going to use two of them yeah these two and I'm going to keep this on the side for later use okay so now I'm going to make sure this one is really satinized oh important the the satiny really works the colder your sugar is and when I say colder I mean it's cooler but it's still hot so it's pliable once it gets hard you can't really do anything but you see what the cooler it is the, sh the shinier it gets Look at the color. See how pretty? I think this is a good satin. So I'm going to try now to make I'm making a ball here. And it needs to be smooth on one side. then because I'm going to blow this you want to make a hole in the center here you see I have a ball here it's smooth there are no partitions I make a little hole in here I get my other tools ready which are scissors the pump here I'm going to need I'm going to use a torch, although you can use a little uh, oil lamp with a little flame. And your fan. Your fan is going to cool it down while you work. So I'm going to turn this on. Very low, because I need to heat my copper tip. I'm going to glue it right here. I'm going to try to seal it. And you know when you use the pump, if no air is coming out, that means you have a seal center. And then you look for it to start growing. It's growing. But you don't want to blow the whole thing at once. You just blow a little and, and let it cool down. If you blow everything from the beginning, you won't be able to control. It's going to get a, a, a out of shape and deform. And you won't be able because it's so hot. Just cool it down. The most important thing is that no air is getting out of here and you have a ball. If you have a ball here, no air is leaking out and it's blowing when you go like this, have your struggle is over. So then don't rush it, just cool it down. I'm going to keep cooling it. You should be able to put this in your face and not feel like it's so hot. I'm going to blow a little more. Okay, so I'm going to blow a little more. I'm going to try to pull from here so I get an elongated
And I keep blowing because I want to keep the roundness. I'm just trying to elongate this. You see, and then I correct. Because when you pull, you press and you get dimples. You don't want that, but you can pull, get it a little longer, blow a little more, get rid of those dimples very carefully and keep cooling it. Now, this is the beginning for any other shape. You can make, make a vase, you can make a bird from here. We're gonna do a fish, but you know, this is the beginning of a, any other shape. Now I want to start kind of shaping this. So I'm going to make a curve in here because I want this, bird, this uh, fish to have a really long tail. I'm just making the body. When you do show pieces in sugar, you, you do it in parts. You don't do everything in one piece. So I'm doing the body and later I'll do the fins. You see, once you, you put this, because it's still a little warm, you get flat bottom. So it, just make sure you keep pumping to get rid of that and move it around. Because I want to keep the roundness. I want, however, the sides to be a little flatter. So I'm going to push my hands ever so gently there. But keep my future fish round. You can sometimes put it on one edge so it gets flat over there. Since this is the head, I'm going to just push a little in here to create where the eyes are going to go. The dimples here. Go over here. I mean, you can see more or less that it's, it's getting some shape. It's, pre it's pretty malleable, ma uh, malleable. So the point is not to let this go out until it's completely cold and perfectly shaved the way you want. See, you can flatten it a little because I want the sides just to be a little flat. I don't want a fat fish, but I want it this way, yes. Do I want a little more curve? So, okay, I'll bend this slightly. And this is a, a you know, a work of patience. Sometimes you get there, or you do something, the whole thing shatters and breaks. You col this is isomal, so you collect all your pieces, put them back in the pot, remelt it, and you start over. You never give up. Just keep trying. You see, I'm just cooling it. I'm just waiting for it to be really cold so I can get rid of the pump. If you get rid of the pump right now, uh, invariably it's going to get a little uh, deflated and it's going to get a different shape and you won't be able to control because you took the pump out. The pump is what makes possible for you to reshape Sometimes when you know exactly what you want it, you can stand it that way so it gets just a little flat so it has some balance when you put it on your display. Because in the end, anything you make, you have to really take into consideration the gravity, right? You want your heavy, the heaviest part to be down and the lightest to be up. And I know the heaviest part is here, so I want to keep I want to play with that. So this is almost done. But you see how there's a big dimple in here? I want to correct that with the pump. Now sometimes if your sugar is really, really cold and you keep pumping, it will explode. Why don't you start over? That's it. It's just sugar. Okay. And I'm going to set this right in here. I'm going to glue it right here. For that I use a torch. I'm going to keep my fan in there. I'm going to turn on my lamp. 
where I have my other two pieces of sugar because by now this sugar is too hard to, be, to pull so I need to soften it and I need a lamp for that um, if your sugar is still a little soft you can use your microwave for maybe five seconds it gets soft you pull it five seconds until it's that's what people do in competition because they sometimes they don't have a lamp they have to work really fast use the microwave and you can work with it but if you are working the whole day you, you it's better for you to get a lamp you can buy that in a, any hardware store not this one particularly but you can get this lamp that have bulbs it's the same bulb they use for keeping food hot that's good you go to pastrychef.com you can get uh, all the equipment you need for sh for sugar work. You see, I'm I'm I think I can take this pump out and let it cool down completely. Okay, how do I get this out of here? It's stuck. This is copper. If you know your lessons from school, from chemistry, then I'm going to heat up the copper um, and copper when you heat it is a is a conductor of heat so you heat it in one place and the copper would get hot on the other edge on the other corner and then you can carefully pull it out you have to do it very carefully because you can break it i need a uh, something to grab this so i'm going to get a towel from here i need to heat it a little more Carefully. There you go. It came out. You see? I keep moving it because I still think it's a little soft. Inside is warm, it's hot. So I'm just going to keep it there while I soften this one. And then under the lamp, you need to keep folding your sugar so it softens evenly. So the body is done, which is, I think, one of the most difficult parts. Now I'm going to start making the fins. I usually do the small things first, and I leave the big tail, which is really a ribbon, uh, for the last. And then little minor, minor deta details to the end. I want to create some fins first. And for that, I'm going to use leaf press like this. This is um, a leaf press made out of silicone. This is another leaf press. I know you might think, but those are leaves. Yeah, but when you press here, you get the, the texture. And then when you put it on the fish, you can't tell it's a leaf. It looks like a fin. Um, I like this one especially. And with your scissors, you, you cut the shape of the fin. I'm going to move this again here and then I can glue this thing in here and sometimes you have to use little this is uh, pastillage uh, just to anchor this thing you glue it well it might not look pretty now but later then you decorate your showpiece so you don't see your little uh, wedges or supports because you always need support for these things I have some isomer here ready so I'm going to glue this here. I'm using soft isomal. A 
little more. So I can put this right there. The isomer here. Okay. And then I have to hold that until it's glued. Make sure it's straight. So far, so good. Okay. So I'm going to take this and pull it. I'm, I want to satinize this again. And this is a work of patience. You have to just be patient, have a whole day, no schedule or anything. So you can have a nice showpiece. You rushing, this is not gonna work. Because just when you're rushing is when things go wrong. Something breaks, you have to make it again. You see my gloves are getting uh, really sticky, so I'm gonna change them. Cut, press, and give it a little pretty curvy and let it dry. You can make five or six of this. And then you take the torch. right here very little because it will glue right away hold on to the stays so you just lightly touch it on the fire and then it will glue to your sugar there you go those things are very delicate so you don't want to touch them too much I'm gonna make a couple more for the sides You want to try to do this before it gets hard because it will just break. Always keep the sugar on, on the lamp, on the edge, so it stays soft. I can put this one over here, maybe. Now, if you know your fish is going to be exposed on one, side only then focus on decorating that side like this one and then you put a background here I'm trying to do this a three, dim uh, three dimensional so I need to put in both sides and if you have a different shape you can put back in the lamp and reshape the, your sugar I'm trying to shape something that might look like a set of lips.
sometimes you have to go online get a picture of something like lips you look how they look and then you try to do something that works for here Okay, for this, for the tail, I'm going to make a ribbon. And if you come to some of the other videos, you'll see the process of making a ribbon. This is the same way, but I'm just using one color. Keep it flat, you keep folding on the side, keep it flat, and extend. This will be my, you just have to see, wait and see how it works. So I'm going to let it cool down slightly. Then of course you have to hold it there until it is completely glued. And try to reshape your curve, but you have to be careful, it can break. And I have to wait here patiently until it's all cold. I don't want this to droop too much. See where I'm going? Is it looking like a fish? And th if there is anything that you don't like, you can fix that later. Once you big pieces here, you can do a couple of little other tails and cover here, paint. But I think it's looking pretty pr pretty at this moment. You can glue the eye with the torch, but it might be dangerous because this is so small you can burn yourself. You can just use a little isomon and just 
put it there. And we are almost ready to airbrush. You see, still drooping a little, so I'm going to try to keep it up. The other eye. And you see you have the tail, you have the body, the things, the eyes, the lips. And this is how you make a pool sugar, a blown sugar fish. Uh, so stay tuned and then in another video we're going to show you how to color this sugar piece.